Hey, welcome back for episode six of Little Hope. Uh, so at the end of the last one, we saw them rifling through an old store, um, and we saw some of the older versions of us being sort of harassed by the law. Perhaps they'd um, finally dragged them off for trial. I think that was the whole point of it, wasn't it? A trial is coming. So let's see what happens next. I wonder if we get to see more of the other side. Remember, they'd just broken into the police station. So perhaps we're going to see what happens over in the police station. Go on over and have a look. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, guys. What do you think? It's derelict. Um, I mean, it, everything's derelict around here, but we should look around anyway, right? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. Okay, so whatever the hell we just saw, using the devil's language, it's all gone topsy-turvy. What do we find? So a newspaper about the Reverend Carson. Reverend Carson was obsessed with the occult. I don't know why it keeps telling us that's new. Maybe, ah, because they're, they're linked, right? Just close with the Ravenden factory. So we know that the unreadable bit was a raven then aha i see so when we find 30 it'll shed some more light on this bit okay this is cool i like this this is intriguing the way that they've decided to do this the secrets and find them backwards we now do have i wonder if there's anything further here no okay but we have every type of bearing We don't have the ritual blade, but we're well aware through here that there is a ritual blade there, right? And we know that there's a stoning or a, some kind of drowning. Go have a look around. Alrighty. Nothing from that then. <laughs> okay, we go backwards. Doesn't look like there's anything to find in the kitchen. Interesting. I guess we walk forward. We can't go too far forwards. We have to walk the same way this dude walked. What's in here? Oh. Reynolds. Little Hope Police Department. Just, uh, it's the cat. We saw a scat. A scat. Oh my goodness. A cat earlier. Was there anything the other side? No. Okay. Now, is this an examine or a and open or not I've lost everything marks on the wall and oh, where's that one sitting ah 
Here we go, so... That wasn't that. It's here, isn't it? Ah, it's this little trio. Okay. I feel like that's to do with the arrest. The same. There's always lockers in these types of games, story games. Every time. We go that way. No, nothing there. Oh, this is Plaxo. Old Witch Gale. Built in 1684. During the Little Ho Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Back to the Salem Trials, I guess. Keep looking. The world has its witch hunts every day, right? If it's not witches, it's something else. You know what I mean. Certificate of Commendation. On January the 16th, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the, fire, before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and a grateful public thanked the police department for their continued dedication to service. Does that mean that maybe they saved some of the people that were inside? Did they save the kid? That's interesting. So we're dating back that far? Over 300 years? Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Oh well. No CB radio then. Keep looking, see if maybe we find something else then. Was that that's the plaque that we were reading earlier? Main door? I don't really want to exit yet. Gotta be something. What well, telephone? We have a winner. Found a phone. Nice. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <clears throat> Shit! Hey, take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. <laughs> uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. <laughs> Yo, I was going to call it. I was going to say, there's no cable. <sighs> okay, let's go find a cable then. Oh, the, the moon. TC. Oh, that was what was on the back of... Uh, it's probably one of the secrets, but the book had TC on it as well. That's interesting now. So we're, we're starting to define, potentially, something that happened in this little block. Anthony Clark survived the fire and was later cleared of any wrongdoing. Oh, wow. So we did save him then. Nice. 
I'm gonna find that wire now. What is that? Okay. What do you think? Answer it. Yep. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. Patient. Okay. Cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. I'm on it. Tell me exactly where you are. Are, are you are you in town someplace? That's us. I swear I do not know where he came from or what this man wanted of me. I could not make sense of the things he spoke of. You must believe me, I beg you. I stand falsely accused of crime. Get off of me! speak with you you cannot talk of our secret eternal damnation awaits if you do we have an understanding do we not no evil word shall leave my lips should you breathe a word or the edge of a word about the other things then i will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you now reverend let us begin enough time has gone begging go be with you kin I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Be quiet. We need to stay quiet. Just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Do we approach? Heart, oh, they're both hearts. I this the, the girl. <laughs> Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. Do! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? 
You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor oh. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if she I am see. correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. <laughs> the master cannot help you now. It is too late. What? They are here among us. They are here among us. No. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little <laughs> holes? Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? Uh, I saw the girl in the woods, didn't I? So should we go with that? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Resolute. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned... I saw her back at the intersection. A husband, like, I mean, they're both the same. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! <sighs> we can't either! They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, Josh? What's bugging you? We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, we've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. 
What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. I mean, it's buildings or something, but these people don't want us to be anything other than optimistic. She needs, she needs to feel okay about where we're going. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The Kiki exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Alright, lead your students towards town together. Um, are we missing the girl? No, there she is. We're rational, irritable, and curious at the moment. I think that's a fair representation of how we feel as this dude. We seem to be quite positive towards Taylor. Uh, Daniel, we've had no interactions with, really. Angela, you'd expect the age kind of tie them together more so, but it hasn't. Uh, it's been an up and down relationship with Andrew um, and John. I don't think John meant to upset Andrew the way he did before. I think Andrew just has this kind of ability to be annoyed of everything. He's a scaredy cat. I think his reaction to being scared is to be annoyed. So, I mean, we've got this house over here. And we've got this walkway. I'm kind of intrigued as to what's off the beaten path. Good thing too. Shackled premonition. Preston. I guess it's a good thing we went that way, we got the premonition. us too much though. All we know is that someone's getting in a police car at some point. Can't go backwards so we'll go and check out what's over in this house. Much to see. Billy Johnson, a promising young author who died tragically after writing her first novel. Taylor, you need to see this. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? Well, that's odd. So we found something that looks like her now. I, I guess there's like... Is it that these people look like that? Or is it that they're seeing their version of themselves? So if perhaps you went there, or I went there, would we see a version of ourselves in the story? Hail rock and roll, Dolce Periculum, Father of Fire, Jeweled Curse, The Roadhouse, 322 Palmyra, $2.50, 8 p.m. Saturday, February the 12th. 
Daniel, you need to see this. What's going on? Another coincidence. This guy looks just like you. Recognize him? No. And I've never been in a band either. Another bridge? So soon? How many bridges are there in the Little Hope? I can't see for shit. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... This guy seems uncertain about things. I think, yeah, let's go with uncertain. Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. Wow. You lead. I'll be right behind you. Our relationship went down with everybody. I'm glad though, because this kid's been a survivor the whole way. Stay here. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we saw what was going on with that trial. Crazy. The people back then, they just seemed to believe anything, right? Crazy. Like, literally cured by being touched by somebody. Actors. How is that little girl so good of an actor? But we know what's going on. We entirely know what's going on. So I can't wait to get straight into episode 7. It's coming real soon, guys. Uh, we're going to find out what's going on with these guys on the bridge. What kind of story comes up next or what kind of event comes up next. It's going to be exciting. I think this is where the story is about to really kick off. And we're really going to understand how who is chosen to be sectioned off for the next part of like an image. Or to see their duplicate self or something like that. So stay tuned. It's coming. Cheers, guys. Catch you soon. Bye.